Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Stone Shard, shall we? Well, this game I bought in early access. It's a game that I actually have played on the channel last year. Did a couple of episodes going through the tutorial again, and I've actually played through the tutorial right when it was very, very early access. Maybe, oh gosh, uh, 2019, 2018 even? I don't know how far back it goes, uh, but I bought it very, very early on when um, there was not much content at the recommendation of a friend. And then I booted it up again to see what had happened, and I did the prologue, but I didn't uh, keep going beyond that. And more and more stuff keeps coming out for this. I do love roguelikes, so I'm going to play it, but I'm going to actually skip the prologue, probably to my detriment, because I don't remember all of the controls, but I just want to get into the game and see what the adventure mode is like. So we're going to do that here. If you want to see me play the prologue uh, as it existed last year in December, uh, the videos are up on the channel, but I'm going to dive right into a permadeath adventure mode and really see what this game is like. When I played this before, it, at this point, years ago, it was really janky. There was all kinds of weird things about when you could save the game, and it made it um, where I was like, I need to shelve this until they fix out the saving system a little bit. And so let's see how it has changed and have some fun. Osbrook. One week later. So here I am. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead, and the other half are deserters and traitors. The host be praised. At least I've got the stone shard. Yeah, you've got the stone shard. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. So... Um, the prologue also does give you a bit of the story uh, and set the lore for the game, which is important. Uh, but, you know, from what I recall, you're in some kind of dungeon. There's these uh, really creepy cultists, and you make your escape. And we learn of some evil oppressing the land that we're going to attempt to combat. Now, one of the things that I love about this game are uh, the graphics, and the voice acting has been there for a while. It's very good. So the game has, you know, a nice good story set up, and the graphics are fantastic. I love this kind of, like, uh, pixelated sprite. The, their graphics, but they're so animated and detailed. It's fantastic. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. It's a tough spot, and you're an old man. It's time to retire. I need to get back to Bryn. Oh. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Me. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Uh. Well, time to return the favor. I forgot. Damn. It's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? Ah, uh, not much, man. So... At this point, we can tell him what we've been up to, apparently, and this will give him our background. So, beautiful permadeath roguelike. I'm a simple man. A very simple man. And if you're simple like me, when you're playing a permadeath game, you want to pick something that is formidable so that you don't die. All right, so a Revenger um, is good with spears, ranged weapons, athletic, and two-handed stuff. The Reaver is swords, axes, shields, combat mastery, dual wielding. The Maiden Knight um, is swords, maces, shields, combat mastery. This guy's like uh, the Woodward, kind of like a Ranger, perhaps. And then there's the Runaway Sorceress. So... Just for being, like, defensive, I see knight, and I'm down with it. Um, for each enemy within her vision, she gets 5% less cooldown duration, 5% mind uh, deduction to ability energy cost, and um, takes less than 2.5% damage. 
and it stacks. So what this means is like if there's five energies and uh, enemies within my vision, this gets even stronger. So she has this like built in, which is terrific. Uh, so I'm down with this. And this is her backstory. And so she, I like her affinities. I like that she's got this amazing trait right here. And her stats, everybody's stats seem pretty, like, right around the 10 mark, which is, if this is, you know, 3 dice 6, uh, it's okay. It's not abysmal, but it's not great. So we're going to we're gonna confirm with uh, Arna. Can I change her name? That's fine. Is that so? Yes, it's so. Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. In the time since I missed lat, uh, last met you, I've become a knight. What do you think about that? So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. We need horses. I don't have either of those things. We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. Oh, yeah? We came to an agreement. We'll do a couple of tasks for them. And they'll give us a cart and two horses. Quid pro quo, huh? Don't worry about the job. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with brigands or the undead. Diplomatically? The elder will give you the details. You should go see him right away. No time to waste. Okay. No time to waste. This poor lady will be sweeping that spot for eternity. Ah, I almost forgot. Here's a map of the area. You need it more than I do. You're darn right I do. You can also ask the innkeeper about local events. He is a talkative kind. I'm sure he'll answer any of your questions. Okay. Off you go then. Good luck. Great. All right. So, off we go then, as he says. Okay. Um, the map symbol indicates locations with a save point. Great. I was just talking about this. This is what killed me before on this game, that, that you could only save in very, very, very strange ways. To save the game, you either need to sleep for any amount of time or use a suitable sleeping spot for a momentary rest. This can usually be done in taverns, cleared out camps, or by using bedrolls, which can be bought from some traders or crafted with a make a halt ability in the survival tree. Okay. So we can save in taverns if we clear out a campsite or by using bedrolls. Okay. And we can buy them. I don't know if they're one use or what the deal is. And there's a survival skill tree that we can get that as well. Exiting the game saves your progress as well. However, this exit save is deleted upon loading. Okay. And they added that. Um, that was not in the game. So, like, when I first bought the game, there was a much uproar about that. And they were trying to implement the exit and save thing. And it was really, really hard based on how they had coded the game. So, they were working on it. Um, but it was really diabolical because you could only save in these obscure ways, so you just couldn't leave the game until you found a place where you could actually save it, uh, and it was just not very friendly. Now they have fixed it, they've added all kinds of ways to do that, and that is beautiful. I I don't mind at all that you delete my save uh, when I exit. I mean, I'm playing permadeath, so it doesn't matter to me anyway. Uh, if you die in adventure mode, you can resume playing from the last save you made by sleeping. In permadeath, your saves are irreversibly erased on death. Indeed. So... We don't need to get that make a halt ability, most likely, because when we die, we die. Fantastic. All right. Um, I like it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it does say save and exit on the, just the menu screen. That's great. All right. Um, skip a turn. Modes and actions. Abilities. All right. So let's see what we start with. So we have a sword, so we have Cleaving Strike, um, which requires a one-handed sword and delivers a strike to three adjacent targets with 38% body part damage. Gotta love that body part damage and 37% bleed chance. Tremendous. Grants 10% counter chance for four turns for each affected enemy. Huh. So if I cleave three enemies, 
I get 30% counter chance. And she's like got that uh, Val that makes her good against multiple enemies anyway. That's great. Blade maintenance, swords, durability, deteriorates 50% slower. Oh, that's right. There's durability in this one. Oh boy. All right. Well, we need to we need to take care of our weapons. We got to really maintain them here. And we've got keeping distance. Um, retreats a tile back. If the next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy, perform an attack with 36% stagger chance and 52% bleed chance. That's actually really nice, unless they have a, you know, ranged weapon. Okay. And um, this is my examine surroundings ability. Shouldn't I put these, like, on the hotbar? Okay. Um, I don't have any axes. I do have maces, too, though, so I've got all of these mace abilities. In fact, let me check out what's my inventory like. Oh, okay, so I start with a sword, and I start with a shield. Okay, I have some uh, Diverne Heirloom Curious. It's busted up. I've got this cloak. I've got a cowl. I can see that there. Yep, and my sprite reflects exactly what I'm wearing. Love it. I've got lockpicks. I've got healing salve. I've got a little bit of cash. Um, I'm going to auto-sort my inventory. I got some big old crusted bread loaves, which look very appetizing. This kitty is having the time of his or her life up there. And, okay, fantastic. And let's just check over here at our character screen. Now my mind hand damage is 18 with this sword. All right, so we could easily then get ourselves a sword or a mace and be happy with it. We, ha we even start with two-handed swords, that's right. Um, and two-handed maces, but I want to use a shield. I love sword and board. Shields give us all these other things, too. Raise shields. Um, embodiment of resilience. Oh, wow. When you block, you replenish energy. And reduce the cooldowns of abilities here. Breakthrough. Moment of retribution. So if you get hit, next time you have a better chance to block. That's cool. We've got backstab and examine surroundings. That doesn't seem very sporting of us knights to backstab, but maybe we've fallen from grace. I don't know. We have some basic survival skills. We have campfire, make a halt, which we just get, um, which allows us to sleep. But even though we don't necessarily care about sleeping for saving, this does give us four turns of vigor, which is a buff, and then we can skin um, and cauterize our wounds. We've got combat mastery, which looks great. And this is where the game starts to get really exciting, in my opinion, um, is just this massive ability tree, you know? And we have two ability points to spend. So we can think about, well, what do we want to even level up? I have a sword. So it seems like, you know, I might want to get that. Oh, holy cannoli. Okay. I was going to say, I have all these great abilities. No, these are all abilities I can learn. Aww. Um, I don't have these. So these trees are open, but I don't have anything yet. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Right, I only have two ability points. Okay, so right away, um, I need, I need, yep, cleaving strike, and, uh, anything else that's, like, really amazing. I like Ray's Shield, because this gives us uh, a chance to block and helps our block power. And we have a Light Shield anyway, so it gives us a counter chance. I'm going to try this out. Okay, so I picked for my starting skills Cleave so I can deal with getting swarmed and Ray's Shield so I can just, you know, tank a little bit better. Gotta have offensive skills right now, and defense too, because it's permadeath. Alright, and you can click to move long distances, or you can use the arrow keys to move around. And yes, now that I've learned my abilities, they've appeared down here. 
Now, um, I'm going to examine my surroundings, and I did that. I'm going to actually put examine my surroundings over here, cleave up here, and shield like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got ourselves a quest to go talk to the elder, and maybe we can also talk to the bartender, Brooke, indeed. Happy to see you visiting us again. Um... Now, I could save if I want, but, uh, you know, I'm not really too worried about that, given this is permadeath. But I'll do it. Um, oh, never mind. It costs money. Never mind. I'm not doing it. Got some questions. Um, I need to speak with the Elder. Odar lives in the village hall right in the middle of Osbrook. You can't miss it. The building is in front of the market. If you want to earn some coin, go visit him. He is the one overseeing mercenary contracts. All right. Need something else? Tell me about the village. Our village is called Osbrook. Life is hard, but we don't complain. The mill helps. And we got a few farms here and there. And if you compare us to the neighbors, life is as sweet as honey. The war mostly went past us. Apparently... There aren't enough fools to fight over on our boondocks, or over our boondocks, rather. Um, anything going on in the neighborhood? Things around here are not as dire as anywhere else, but you gotta keep an eye out anyway. Leaving the village without a good reason is a foul idea. There's way too many bandits wandering the roads. Okay? And then there are all these crypts built by the Order in times immemorial. Sniffing around them will only bring you face to face with something undead or worse, but I guess it's exactly what you may be looking for. How'd you know? Alright, uh, and... People? In the area? There's too many folk to remember. Let me count on fingers. First, the elder. Second, we have a smith. There's an herbalist, tailor, a few traders. Can't forget the carpenter, and that's about it, I suppose. Okay, cool. What do you think of the carpenter? I'll level with you. I don't like the carpenter. He curries favor from Odar only to badmouth him behind his back. The host be his judge. What matters the most is that he is a hard worker. He can make you a bow, fix up a shield, carve a staff. His, out his house is on the southwestern outskirts. Okay, cool. This guy's got a lot of good information. Where can I stock up on supplies? We got lots of traders. You can find them on the square. Can buy just about anything from them. Meat, fruit, vegetables. Yes, I know. Others starve while we feast, but it's not something I should be complaining about. That's where you can also find Bert, our merchant. I'll be frank. The man has always been a miser and a profiteer, but after the war began, he lost his last scraps of decency. Ah, uh, there's too many... F uh, okay, he's saying the same thing. And then, um, about the smith. Our smith is handy and hardworking. He lives next to the village square. He mostly works outdoors, so you'll spot him easily. How about that tailor? He's a grumpy old man, but he's got hands of gold. I'll give him that. He stitches. His stitches last for a lifetime. He also works with leather, so if your boots are worn thin, make sure to pay him a visit. Well, considering durability seems to be a factor, we'll be paying him a visit, won't we? Um, okay. Herbs. Our herbalist is a gifted fellow, age-bent, but still clear of mind. He's getting too old, though. The host forbid he kicks the bucket. The whole village will follow right after him. He lives on the southern outskirts in the house by the road. In the morning, he usually tends to his garden, then spends the day drying herbs at his counter. If you ever get hurt, search him out. He'll put you back on your feet in no time. Great. Thanks. Um, what's the tavern's name? The tavern's name is the Black Boar. Can't find a nicer place around here. That hovel in Manshire they call a tavern simply cannot compare to us. Why, we've got a fireplace, two rooms, and four tables. Had my grandfather running this place, and before him, my great-grandfather. I bet you can guess who owned it before him. As for me and my wife, we've been running the business for at least 15 years or so. Why the black boar? Now that's a long story. A century ago, there was a wild boar that kept the entire village in fear. A vicious beast it was. Some folks even believed that it wasn't a boar at all, but an evil spirit in hog skin. 
Then the Lord of the Land was a bit of a coward who almost stopped hunting because of it. He holed up in his castle for a week or two, but what's life without hunts? So he put a handsome bounty on the boar's head. As a result, dozens of folks ventured into the woods. Half of them returned empty-handed. The other half got mauled by the beast. Of course, none of them had my great-great-great-grandfather's skill with the bow. In fact, he put the boar down with a single arrow, hit it right in the eye, and it dropped it where it stood. The Lord himself granted him a title of gamekeeper for this heroic deed, making him quite a catch for the lasses. My great-great-great-grandfather, being a smart fellow that he was, married the miller's daughter and opened this tavern with her dowry. Smart guy. As for the boar's head, he hung it above the fireplace. People from nearby villages would flock over just to catch a glance at it. Alas, a couple of years ago, some scoundrel stole it. I looked for him everywhere, but that scumbag disappeared without a trace. Uh-oh. I sense that that's going to come back to haunt all of us. Um, anything new around here? I don't envy the border guard. Even in times of peace, it wasn't easy to hold the dwarves off, but now that they have to fight on an empty stomach and with only half the troops, things are getting pretty dire. The only reason why we haven't lost yet lost is because the dwarves hate each other more than they hate us. If they ever work out an alliance, neither Bryn nor Alwyn will be safe. Welcome to our fine establishment. All right, buddy. Thanks for that. All right, and... Hi. How about a mug of... Foamy ale, says Ricolda. God, her face is doesn't say foamy ale. It says leave and never return. Anything new? Yeah, give it another month or two before the war is on our doorstep again. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and the, only the host knows whether you'll end up alive or in the gutter. Welcome to our fine establishment. I love how they tell you, like, the worst possible news about what's going on. And how in the grips of fate our lives sit and how easily the scales can tip and we could all be consumed in either war or mauled by a black boar or destroyed by the dwarves. Welcome to our fine establishment. All right, thanks for that. Good luck. Pep talk. Uh, can I go out? Uh, she does nothing. What do you have to do? Click on the door? How do I open it? All right. Um. Huh. Got to right click and say enter. Well, that seems preposterous. All right. I was trying to walk out the door. Apparently that don't work. Oh wow, Osbrook, Bryn Marsh, uh, Bryn March rather. How oh, they really have redone this? Oh, this looks great. All right. There's the Smith. There's the market stalls. All right. Now, I do, in my journal, I have a map, so I can look at this and see, like, here's the mill, and here's the town. Um, I don't know if I can really zoom in on it too much. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we'll find the elder's crib. Is this it? Nah, these are the guards and such. Where's that old... Elder, can I talk to you? Are you the new mercenary? I expected someone tougher. You'll have to do, I suppose, says Barnett. I've been told to provide you with equipment. We don't have much in terms of weaponry, but it should suffice. What can I get you? One-handed weapon. Um, do you have a good shield? Here you go. It's not the best, but it's what we've got. All right, so he has... The board shield, and I have a leather targe. And um, this thing is heavier than the other one, so uh, it just seems like complete garbage compared to what I have. It is. Thanks. You've given me manure. Appreciate it. And is this the dude? It is. Oh, dar. What a nice little bedroom he's got. He has a tapestry with a picture of a town. Charming, my man. I don't think I've ever seen a female mercenary. Well, if you can deal with our village's problems, then what do I care? <laughs> you jerk. Get with the times, Odar. What do you need? Varen didn't tell you? 
We don't have capable mercenaries in Osbrook for quite a while, so there's a lot to deal with. Bandits, cults, the undead, lots of places around here attract filth like that. We don't have many guards, so I can't afford any of them dying. That's why I need a mercenary. And what about affording a mercenary dying? I'll put it this way. That's what you're paid for. You take the risks, and I'll reward you well. If you succeed, it's only fair. You got that right. Let's get down to business. I have a few contracts available. If you'll fulfill a couple of them, then we're even. You'll have your cart and your horses. So what do you say? Um, alright. I only have one contract. It's called Stolen Goods, and it has three skulls by it. I was hoping for a one-skull contract. You got any of those? Like the cat in the tree contract kind of thing? Rats in the cellar, maybe? Stolen goods. The roads aren't safe these days. Selling grain to Bryn is the only thing which keeps Osbrook afloat. But the local brigands from the fortress, Estver, don't let us have it easy. They intercept every cart we send. We're sick of it. You hear me? Sick of it. If you get to the forest, the, the fortress, Estver, kill their leader... Return to stolen goods. I'll pay you well. Think about it. Deal. Good. Then it's settled. Give me your map. I'll mark the location. You can see. I'm always writing stuff down here. You have four days to deal with it and claim your reward. Oh, God. Um. You selling anything? He's got money and alcohol. I don't need that. All right. Thanks, buddy. This should be a cinch. And by a cinch, I mean... I don't know if I can handle this. Alright. Uh, can I go to the smith, and can you repair my armor? It's all busted. Dude, you, smith man. Well then, tell me what you need. What you selling? Um, alright, so it says, repair metal items. Um, 459 gold to repair this. Uh, that's a little above my pay grade. Can you buy this? Did you give me money or not? Yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> Alright, fair. Good deal. Alright, I traded with him. Uh, I have this sword, which is 18 damage. This is, uh, worse. Okay, um, thanks for your consideration. There's a weapon shop down here. Um, there's a bucket. I guess I'll take it. What's in the bucket? This may interest some merchants. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting. Um, what you got? A mercenary, fresh from the road, let me give you a piece of advice. Stick with me and you'll be rolling in gold in no time, says Bert. What do you propose? I have a business offer for you. The previous mercenary used to bring me all kind of wares, and I paid him generously. Everyone was happy with the deal. So how about you and I have the same arrangement? What happened to the previous guy? He overestimated his abilities. Anyway, no use dwelling on it. It's all water under the bridge. The only thing that matters is that we have an agreement. How can I help you? Um, what you selling? Yeah, I'll sell you some stuff, maybe, every once in a while. Um, this shield has more block power than mine, but it's not a light shield anymore, so it takes my dodge chance away. I mean, he's got an identification scroll, which actually seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, I'll buy that. You've got a deal. What's this ring? You don't have a deal. Do I want to buy, like, bandages and stuff? I have one, but I could buy a splint. Buy a little straw. What's this one? It's not very wonderful. Alright. I don't like your equipment. Alright, look at these pigs. I do like pigs. This guy's doing a good job guarding. Alright. So, the journal... I need to head to the Fortress Estver map. Let me zoom out. It's up. It's north of me. Okay, let's go north. 
Now, this is a game where it's like, I haven't played in this in a long time, like I said. And I don't know if it's like, hey, they give you this quest and, you know, you can do it now. But you're going to die because it's too hard and you need to go grind before you're ready for it kind of thing. We're going to find out. I got some berries. Heck yeah, I did. This will help me with my hunger and thirst and morale. I'll take your rhubarb. I take it all. Just understand, whatever I want, it becomes mine. Villagers. Osbrookians. Right, I'll go up here. Let's go get wrecked. Shall we? Who out here wants to take me down? Pretty much all of these things, probably. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Oh. I thought I was like... Oh, it, I have to go much further north. Okay. I avoided the road neatly. Why stick to the road when you can be dangerous? All right, let's go. It might be worth it to fight like a wolf or something dumb like that. Try to get my hand on combat, but now nah, let's just storm right in. I'm sure we can take him at level one. It's only a bandit leader with a fortress. What could be difficult about that? Oh, what do we have here, says this jerk. All right, well, what we have here is a me. So, uh, I don't know. I'll just kind of push number, number key five to wait. Okay, and I'm gonna just raise my shield, and then we'll hit him. And I'll use this on uh, this guy. How's he doing? He hit me really hard. All right, so he loses 20 health, and he hit me for nine damage. We counterattacked, and we hit him for 10. I really can't see his health, which is not great for me. Oh my god. Now I can see his health. He's been knocked into another planet. All right. He has a flail. Okay. So let's check out our our health situation. Um, uh, we took a little damage to the old noggin there. Do I want to stop bleeding? Am I bleeding? 86% condition. I'm not really actively bleeding. I'm just hurt. Alright. Do I want to use this? I'll try it. Use the salve on my noggin. Alright. I'm functioning normally. Alright. So then if I just go here... I can just sit down. I push the R key to just rest and restore my health, and there we go. Now, I don't know if I actually needed to uh, do that or not. I don't know if I needed to use a salve if I could just rest and I would have gotten everything back. But we'll figure it out. Here comes this guy. He seems so nice. I'm going to use my shield rays. I'm going to hit this guy. And we're going to, like, hit him with this as well. And oh my... Homemade sword. Well, he's coming at me with the homemade sword. So let's let's see. Let's try to rest. No, I didn't actually recover. Oh, I did finally recover health. Okay. All right. Oh, give me that sword. Good lord. I don't care if you made it at home. I'll take it. All right. And let's. Uh, how's our hunger? How are we doing? We have sixty experience now. That feels great. I don't know. Give me that. Give me this hen bane. I'm the bane of the hen. Um, hunger. Where are you? Where do I find you? 
Here's health. Hunger, 9%. That's not bad. I can eat. Eat it. We can eat it. Let's take down our thirst and stuff. Eat it. Reduce hunger. Oh, God, yeah. Yep. You see it all going down. That is not how you do that. Okay. Hunger almost gone. Thirst gone. Some nice berries after a little roadside murder. Has me feeling great. All right. Henbane. By the way, hold down alt. And it'll highlight all interactable items within line of sight. Actually, beyond line of immediate sight. Just on the map. I should say. Wormwood. Very safe. Always known as a safe thing to use and enjoy. Flea wart. Fantastic. Hey, another tough guy. I really need something. Like, I should have taken a ranged weapon from the um, guard instead of a shield. I was hoping, like, maybe he'd give me a better shield. But I need something to pull guys in. I, I really have nothing. So I'm just kind of, I kind of stand here. Like, I attract him. And he's like, we'll take all you have, which is nice. He has a mohawk and what appears to be some nunchaku. <gasps> oh, he, did he banded himself? Yeah, he did. No, there's no mercy. Actually, there... I mean, apparently there is mercy because I can't catch you. Oh, I finally did. He provoked an attack of opportunity. Thank God. I was like, I don't have any way of getting you. <laughs> no, I need a crossbow or something. All right, let's do it. Oh, my max health is down, though. So you can rest, right? But my, hack, my max health threshold is reduced because I got a little damage on the old body. And it's just a few different parts appear to be, like, my head, my torso. I don't know. That seems like nitpicking. What do we have here? We have a quite formidable warrior is what we have here. A deep cut. Indeed. Ooh, an amulet. Uh, oh, I can't pick it up. Are these valuable? Yes, they are. Ooh, they are valuable. Um, I don't need these, like... You know. Some of this stuff is just total waste of my time. Like, these herbs and things. Yeah, I guess, like, if I was going to make something, but... Uh, I doubt it. I should go back to town and buy a crossbow. God, yes, I should. What am I trying to do? Who am I trying to impress? Huh? Let's rest. I got a few blows to the head. Can you just, like, travel? Quick travel or something? Doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What if there's no enemies? Like, what if I just, like, click on it? Nah, I could put markers and stuff, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll be there in no time. I mean, it's going to take some time, but we'll get there. Oh, well, that's why I avoided the road. I knew there was a reason. All right, look, guys, I'm not in my, my I don't have full health. You can't just come out here and do this. It's not polite. All right, shield thing. Immediately do this. Uh-oh. No, hit this guy. He surrenders. How nice of him. Alright, he's dead. But we almost died. Please don't run. Oh, he's back. Back with a vengeance. What does this mean? Second wind. Oh. 
That's good. Did he get a second win too, though? Seems like it. Jerk. He seemed to last forever. I can't handle that. All right, let's take this instead of like one of these plants. For the love of God. Sword it. Get me the flail. These things sell. All right, rest. Yes, we did it. Every once in a while, it all comes together. A nettle. I need a bigger backpack. Oh, what did my crude amulet do? What does this do? Unholy resistance. Oh, okay, yeah, it's good. It does something, anyway. Better than... Better than nothing. How am I doing... Oh, my head. My god, my head. Now, maybe the herbalist, though, can just do... Like, hook me up. Where are we at? Oh, I'm in the town. You know it. Everyone, I've arrived. Prepare the outhouse for me. I'm... I'm here. I can just take the horses now. Don't know what I was so concerned about. All right. A little early in the day, huh? People sleeping. It's fine. I know the herbalist likes to party down here. You on your garden, dude? Can I just sleep in the town? People cool with that? I'm a hobo. Slowly recovering my health. Over time, your whole body will heal. I've become thirsty. How thirsty? Quite thirsty. Now no longer thirsty. Look, buddy, wake up. Got an emergency here. Excuse me, but it's time for my nap. What you selling? Alright, so you'll buy this stuff from me. So this can cause battle rage. Immunity. Good for healing. Anyway, I'm just going to shift-click all these plants. Maybe if I get some, like, wilderness skills, I could do better with them, but... Right now... Eh, I don't see it. How much you charge for these salves? Heck yeah. Give me another one of those babies. Alright, good. We good? Give me the salve. Alright, everybody's, what, sleeping? Hmm. Time is it? Is there an easy way for me to see that? Um. I think I fully healed. I'm just gonna be hungry. I drank from the well. Can I fill my water skin at the well? Um, uh, doesn't look like it, actually. It's odd. So, I guess, at this point, I could stay at the inn to pass some time, pay some cash to do that. Uh, the, the, the consequence would, of course, be that I only have four days to complete this quest. And I did get, for the most part, like, fully healed. But the question mark would be, I want to sell stuff, 
and to clear out my inventory. But what if I just drop it on the ground? Like, does it despawn? You know? Because if it does, well, then that's a bad idea for me. Um, and this flail actually does do more damage, for example, than what I'm using as my sword. But it things cost more um, energy, and the fumble chance is way higher. But anyway. Uh, let's talk to these folk. Let me see what the options are for just, like, kind of spanning time. Oh, there's a bunch of people in the inn now. All the townspeople um, want to run a room a day. Uh, farewell. Oh, good luck. All right. He said my room's at the end of the hall. I guess it's upstairs here. I paid him 15 crowns. It's probably a ripoff. Um, but that's what happened, and there's this dude who's, like, chowing into the hall. This would be me. It's the only suitable room. Oh, wait a minute. Look, there's a little chest in here. Um, now I, it tells me when I can wake up, so I could rest. It's 2,200 hours now. I could rest until, you know, 5 a.m. That seems actually pretty good. The If I could put stuff in a chest here and get it back in, in like, my stash then I wouldn't have needed to stay. It's interesting to just note for the future. I'm, I'm, of course, not in any way attempting to do this optimally my first time uh, trying to do this, but it's all good stuff to know um, for the future with future characters. Oh, 5 a.m. all the way, by the way, is a little bit, a little bit too early. All right, let me see what my hunger is like. It's 24%, which um, this bread will take care of. And I have this satiety buff, which I guess doesn't last very long. All right, people, wake up. I should have done this differently. Um, oh, God, what have I done? Um, is there a way to just see what time it is? Huh. I mean, anyway, definitely, definitely dark. I want to sell this stuff. I'm not going out with a full backpack. I just can't, I just can't do that. But I can also pick up this straw and, and sell it. And I can collect sticks. It's an interesting question on whether or not there is even like a crafting... Like, can I craft? Or do I just buy stuff in this? Maybe these sticks are worth something. I'll tell you what. They're worth nothing. Um, they, you can be used to start a fire, I guess, if you have the right ingredients. And they take up a lot of inventory space, so... You can just control click that garbage to get it out. I was going to be a stick collector for a second. I thought I had seen a career path in that. It is not working out for me. I'm angry about it. Everyone's going to hear my rage. Do 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 chicken coop. Let's go steal them. Well, I could just go fight. I guess I could just go like pick a fight, try to get stronger until it becomes daytime. Maybe I didn't sleep all the way. Maybe I woke up in the middle of the night with uh, nightmares. Mm-hmm. I'm exploring. What could be out there, I say? Now, this is just the mill area. There could be something over here. This is potentially a dangerous idea.
not even potentially just you know pretty much a guaranteed a bad idea to just walk around but i am exploring i'm uncovering the map with my genius here so it looks like the bridge is out it's pretty much like adventuring 101 explore late at night they tell most people this when they're starting out go late ah there's many people out less competition safer visibility all-time high no spirits or the undead it's just kind of like a win-win now it's becoming daytime right, where am i on the map now i've like pushed out the map a little bit over here okay it's fine now let's venture back i think in my dream what i would do is like somehow repair my armor or oh yeah now we gotta fight no actually i need to buy a ranged weapon all right that's my i need to be like firing at these fools every turn until they get to me so let's just wait 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 use our special shield power use this one that guy is dead do you hear me shield power slash power he surrenders we don't accept surrenders i don't know if you say surrenders plural or surrender singular in that case but i don't accept it whatever you're trying to do i do accept raspberries god that was good breakfast looks like raspberries are back on the menu And I am at the mill screen. We need to go over one more. Osbrook. Corruption town. Don't trust a single person. does feel a bit like grave graveyard keeper with the graphics i know it's just because it's pixel art and it's uh you know this kind of like the art style and the time period are similar which is perhaps why i might be saying that but still and it's 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 a good thing by the way those are oh my god it's the time that will never pass all right i'll rest here i'll wait until people set up shop Here they come. It's happening. All right. I'm thirsty. All right. Dude. What you selling? All right. And he will buy this. Oh, no. He won't buy it for hardly anything. Ah. Uh... Oh, I'm just dropping stuff on the ground. Okay, that's not... It's shift to sell. Well, that was a complete waste. I thought, like, the value of it was much higher outside of what he will give me for it. He robbed me. Oh, this guy gives you way more money than the other dude. Whoops. Uh, I forgot I had to deal with him. I should have been dealing with him in the first place. What's wrong with me? All right, well, now I know. I didn't know... Oh, I guess I know. Alright. Where's weapon and armor? Like, where's Leatherman? Who are you? Where's Von Leathersnips? Alright, this guy's angry and he doesn't like women. What you selling? This is what we're talking about. I hate to give you money, but I need some gloves. They're too expensive. All right, let's see. You got... 
anything decent. You have a belt. It's terrible. You have some gloves that are okay. The town gloves. Well, I might have to buy the quote town gloves. Give me that. These are expensive, these belts that you have. Alright, fine, I'm out. I need a bow or something. If you can't provide it... Well, shame on... Oh, the, the carpenter sells that, doesn't he? What's up, carps? I need it. Good to have you here. Maybe you'll bring some order. Waiting for Odar to do something about it is a waste of time. That's right, this guy hates him. Doesn't the village have guards to maintain the order? Who do you call... Guards. It's either geezers or yesterday's youngsters who had weapons handed to them. Now they're here to serve and protect, so to speak. Each of them is still wet behind the ears, or even worse, is way too long in the tooth. I'm telling you, they'd all be slaughtered come the real fight, something that Odar doesn't care about. Eh, we used to have more than enough lads in Osbrook. Now they're either dead in the ground or serve under someone else's banners. We barely have any able-bodied men left in the village right now. It's just me, the smith, and a couple more lads. Let's finish this bit, and we'll see if we have everything you need. All right, dude. Um, oh, he doesn't sell. He sells arrows, but not a ranged weapon. I find your lack of a bow confusing. All right, well, let's see if maybe somebody else has that. Smithy. Chop, chop, Smith man. You have a bow. But I don't see a bow. All right, um... What about you, merchant man? Do you have a bow? He has a bow amulet. He's like, I can get you an amulet. Looks kind of like a bow. Won't do what you're looking for. All right, you guys. You guys. Help me. I help you. What you selling? Cheese. This guy's... All right. We're not getting a bow from these dudes. It's just not happening. Nobody's got one. I should have thought about this option earlier. But uh, I don't see a place to just procure one. So I'm going to drink from the well and just run away in shame. Let's go. I don't think fruit people have any. I doubt the town drunk is going to come up with the goods. Hi, lady. You're doing a great job in the fields. They have a nice wall protecting them. We're going. God, we're going for it. My feet are hopping. Stone shard me away. I'm just going to walk right up. Anybody wants to fight, they end up one of these broken bodies in the road. I did that. Because they tried to rob from me. Click on the thing. I wonder if you can like shift, click and move and stuff to to go through a passage. Sometimes I don't want to use the mouse. You ever think about that? Mm-hmm. It's just another day of walking on the road. Oh my god, and finding berries. There we go, everybody. Good day. It's a great day. What you got? What you got, people? Ooh. It's wolves. Attacking a man. Let's just let the wolves do their thing. I've learned in my days as a proud knight to let wolves fight. And just... Can I take this many wolves? I have no way of estimating 88% health, 
bear, beast, wildlife. But this doesn't, like, maybe I can get more... Oh, wait, does it say equal on them? Equal. So this would be, like, three equal challenges. Now they're kind of hurt, though. Yeah, let's go for it. We got it. We got this for sure. Come on, I, over. I dare you. All right. Shield. And then hit him. And then now it's time for the Splash Festival. I'm dead. No, I cannot take wolves. All right. Let's see. Um, it's a beautiful day. We're dying. Um... No, 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 this looks good. I've been killed. We've died. R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I was wondering if I could take three wolves, and the answer was no. I was like, well, one of them's half dead. I've got this area of effect attack. I can block. I feel good. I'm dead. So the moral of the story is do better than I did, but I will. Uh, I am understanding a little bit more about how to play the game, and I really would love a ranged weapon uh, in a situation like that. Like, be able to fight, but also... to fight melee, but also range. Maybe there's a place you can buy a bow. I just didn't see it. But I really enjoyed the game. I'm um, having a lot of fun with it so far, and I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you played this? Do you have any tips? Do you recommend it? Um, I'm going to die a whole bunch more. It's a fantastic way to spend a roguelike, and we'll get into it, blow up, see if we can find some more blueberries and raspberries, and have a great time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.